and welcome back to Exposing Human Trafficking. Um, I want to thank each and every one of you out there for subscribing and all of your uplifting comments. Um, I have more information to give you. Um, as I had mentioned in previous videos, and if you haven't seen all the videos, please go watch them because there's so much to say about who is involved and what they do that it's almost impossible for me to put it into all one video. But um, I have a bachelor's degree in communications and the field I was trying to get into was animation. My older stepbrother, George Bermudez Jr., um, invited me to go out to his place in Chatsworth, California. Um, he said he knew people in that industry and he could get me a job. Um, this was back in July of 1989 that I went to his house. And he asked me about my work and I had a bag where I had videos um, that I had done in college and university. Um, some of them had been um, exhibited in, um, I guess, we had like a little film festival at college. And, um, you know, at the end of the semester, they it was a big assembly and it was a big fanfare. It was, you know, it was like prepping us um, for when we went to film festivals or Academy Awards or something. Um you know, and so, you know, I, I showed him my videos and all that. Um, and so he said that I could get a job in animation, that there were some new shows coming out that were going to be animated. They were going to be primetime shows and that they were made because people in the group wanted to know what was going to be happening and what was happening. I didn't understand what he meant by people. I didn't understand that he was referring to fellow Satanists in this coven called Our Lady of Endor. You know, now people tell you all this QAnon and it's conspiracy theorists. No, it's true. You know, <coughs> Sorry about that. It's organized crime is what it is. You know, it's... I don't know. These people, they say they believe in Satan. I, I mean, believing in Satan is totally ridiculous to me. It, it's stupid. It's, you know, teenage angst bullshit. But there is organized crime behind it. And... They run the hotels, which allows for the trafficking, which um, also allows for the bringing in of drugs um, through the southern border and sneaking in illegal um, aliens. And yes, I call them illegal aliens. They are not illegal immigrants. They're not immigrating. They're trespassing. Let's call it what it is. Come on now. And so he said that people would tune into these shows to know what was going on. There were two animation series that was to come out. And you probably know which ones I'm talking about. Look back at some primetime animation shows that predict things that are going to happen. It's all tied in. You know, Brad referred to it, and that's Brad Pitt. He referred to it as Illuminati. You know, I was like thinking, that's some crazy conspiracy stuff. I don't know. That's what he called it. Maybe it really is called Illuminati. I know there were those mason rings. And we've all heard the stories about that. So, if you ever thought it was just coincidence 
that these two shows said things that were going to happen and they ended up happening. It's because it's all part of their plan. Um, after their trafficking, gang rape, satanic ritual abuse on me, you know, you don't just stay in there like, you know, you're supposed to go make money, big money, because then they use those videos against you as extortion and you pay um, so that those videos won't be released and your reputation won't be tarnished. Brad Pitt said that they had gotten him too and they were making him pay. I know that in the ritual they told me that Brad paid $3,000 from his Thelma and Louise contract to pay for them to do that to me. That satanic ritual abuse. So when I went to leave, my older stepbrother, we call him Georgie, he was like freaking out all the way to the airport and everything. He threatened me with a knife again. He followed me all the way into the aircraft where a flight attendant had to get rid of him. And he was escorted off the plane. He gave me a note saying that everybody in the coven loved me. They liked me so much they wanted me to join. And so did Brad. Oh, yeah. They love you so much that they go and they torture you. He was trying to get me to desperately stay. I believe. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. It's hard for me to talk about this stuff. I start coughing and sometimes I can't breathe because they strangled me. And during some of the assaults, they choked me. Um, I don't know how to say it. But when they put certain body parts down my throat, I couldn't breathe. And so talking about it is very difficult. Um, I start gasping for air. And I feel like I can't breathe. Um, I feel suffocated. But I think their intent also was that I would work on these shows. Because as he said... People out there in the coven were wanting to know. I know there's not a lot of support. You know, I don't trust mainstream media. Yes, this has appeared in the newspaper in Colorado, the Alamosa News. But the reporter that covered it knew me very well. And she knew I wasn't making up anything. And she saw the information and the documents and the proof that I had. So she ran the story. We only have ourselves. You know, I'm still hoping with all my heart that Trump drains the swamp. But I don't want to disappoint myself in case he doesn't. And you've got people now upset about the truth being spoken and even some conservatives are saying, you know, you shouldn't talk about the letter that comes between P and R and because it's been labeled as a certain kind of group by the certain kind of agency of the government that is a three letter agency. But it's true. It's all true. And everything that they've been doing, orchestrating, manipulating to bring this moment to pass, it's all their plans to destroy America. So, I don't know if these 
Two animation shows are still in production. I don't watch television. I've boycotted television and movies because of this. I, I can't watch any of these movies with these rapists in it. And yes, there were males and females in it. That sexually assaulted me. So, I don't know if there's any new animation being made that might have clues as to what other plans they might have. As for me, I've disowned my family. I have nothing to do with them. I do not speak to them. They're trash. They're disgusting. And I will testify against them.